Hello everybody, um, my name is Junior. Um, tomorrow, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the uh, Duodenal, Duodenal switch. Duodenal switch, I mean, people say it a different way, but um, um, having mine tomorrow, um, I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's a, it's a great, great uh, change in, in in my lifestyle and things I've done. I think it's a, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be great. Um, I am I am a borderline diabetic, so I did. Uh, you know, doctor did talk to me and said this is this is probably something that's a good idea for you. Um, uh, of course, then being overweight, that uh, that's that's part of it as well. A um, couple things, uh, kind of to give you guys a, an idea of what uh, what my process has been through to go through this. I know a lot of people are asking what what's the whole process to what what do you have to do to to get this done. Uh, a few things is I'm gonna tell you is uh, you cannot be a smoker. No smoke. I used to be a smoker. I was a smoker for, um, I'd say probably 20 years. Joined the army, picked up bad habits. Uh, and when they told me in order for you to be a candidate for this, for any of these type of surgeries, you, you cannot be a smoker. You have to, uh, it's dangerous and bottom line is you can actually die. So. I decided to just go ahead and quit cold turkey. A um, little tough at first, but but nothing nothing that can't be done. You know, it could be done. I think I'm going on five months now of, of no smoking, so and I won't miss it at all. Um, so it's 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 pretty much out of my system. Uh, oh, by the way, they do test you for it, so they yeah, will do blood tests and test for codeine and uh, the nicotine, all that good stuff. Uh, the, so let me tell you a little bit about the process for, for the uh, switch. Um, you gotta go through, well here, and I'm in, in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. Here you have to, uh, the process was go through at least three classes, uh, nutrition classes, um, with, with uh, this is of course, this is each insurance is different. Uh, mine is TRICARE, because I'm, I'm uh, military retired. So mine, I had to go through three classes of uh, nutrition courses, and and before then, um, you have to try to you know lose weight as much as you can without any pills, or anything possible. But of course, you know it's it's not not that not that easy to lose weight. We can lose weight. A lot of us lose weight, um, and then find it again, gain it back. You know, I, I think at one point I lost uh, 69 pounds, and I think I found like 80 of them came with interest. So, um, with that being said, the the uh, quitting smoking actually got got me uh, to gain more weight, which I guess is true what people say when you quit smoking. Um, it's a uh, it's something that uh, catches up to you and makes you want to eat. I mean, you know, just just kind of kind of gets you really hungry and because you're not out there smoking. Um, but um, went in, did all my classes. Uh, let's see, was um, about December. Where right now today's date is January 23rd. Oh, it was my birthday yesterday, by the way. 42, 42 years old now. So, tomorrow's my surgery. I'm doing, uh, like I said, uh, modified. I guess it's two different ones. There's a, there's a Duodeno switch and a modified Duodeno switch. So, I'm doing the modified one. Uh, I didn't choose it. My doctor's the one that chose that one for me. Uh, the, the process is pretty lengthy. I mean, you got to go through a lot, a lot of exams, a lot of stuff, a lot of tests. You got to, they'll put like a little tube up your nose. It goes down your throat. They'll check your stomach out. Doesn't hurt at all. Doesn't bother. Um, it's real, real tight, real small, real soft. So don't get worried about it. You'll have a stress test where you'll, you know, they'll check your oxygen, you'll breathe into a machine. You'll uh, get on the bike, you know, check your heart rate. You gotta get your heart rate to a certain level. Um, if you have any medications, you know, you gotta tell them about all the medications you have, especially if you do have diabetes. If you are diabetic and you take insulin, uh, make sure you tell them. You, you can still take them. Uh, 
Then they'll give you all these shakes that uh, kind of to try you out, try the shakes out, see how you like them, and um, and and uh, you know kind of start preparing you. Um, I went through roller weight loss facility, so uh, they're really good. Um, then they 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 kind of walk you through everything you have to do. We look, you see videos. Um, it's a it's a process, but it's nothing you can't do. There's nothing that can't be done. Uh, if you're a drinker, like me, when I used to love drinking my beer every every Saturday and just hang out front with some friends and uh, or my neighbor and or you know going out uh, and having some beers or wine, whatever it is, uh, those days are pretty much done for now. But you'll be able to drink again uh, doctors won't tell you this but you'll be able to drink again just not the way you used to drink so don't think you're gonna drink um, a six pack a 12 pack or a shot of Hennessy or whatever it is you want because from what I've heard you can black out and just like you drank a hundred beers or whatever I, I don't know I did quit uh, drinking as well um, which I was a social drinker, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, but what I do know, what I do want to have that beer sometime in the in the future, probably in about uh, six months, I believe it is, or, or a year. I think it's a year, they said. Um, I'm probably just going to, one guy said, grab a cup and put it in a cup. And um, mm -hmm, got the little guy here with me. Say hello. Hello, Mom. That's not your mom I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, so you'll be able to drink a beer. And they say put it in a glass and just sip on it, you know, and, and, and that, that should make you feel good. And, you know, but maybe I'll give you guys an update in a year from now with a glass of beer. See what happens. But uh, the program is, 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 even though it's lengthy, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh, I know the doctor said after your surgery, make sure, very important to walk a lot you know walk at least a mile a day uh, um, at your own pace let that co2 out your body um and and uh prevent from getting blood clots uh that i think that's one of the biggest dangers that people have after the the these type of surgeries is that 30 days later is when when you can actually uh find problems in your in your um uh, in your body, you know, and if you if you don't do what the doctor tells you to do, or if you think you're feeling sick or you don't know what it is, you just think it's something you ate. Uh, I'm very precautioned, you know, so if something's not right. I'm I'm calling immediately, you know. So I w I would suggest do the same thing, you know. If I gotta take <laughs> if I gotta take ten trips to the to the doctor to see him, then so be it. I'll take those ten trips, you know. So um, I'm very uh, into sports as well, so so I'm not. Uh, it's not like I'm, you know, I just sit around and do nothing. So uh, it has slowed me down. The weight has slowed me down. Uh, playing with the with the little guy there, you know, you, you get tired quick. Um, uh, I think I was, I, I, let me tell you about my weight. I went in weighing at three, 326 was my highest weight, um, which I've never in my life weighed that much. Um, then I went to last week. I started a dieting, um, kind of getting prepared to the detox just on my own. Um, went down to 319, and then you, a week before your surgery, you got to do a special diet of you know just uh, shakes and one meal and no solids, low carbs, no no sugar. Uh, so I've been doing that, and then. Um, this morning I weighed in at uh, 316, so I lost another three pounds there. Uh, today is just a liquid day because the surgery is tomorrow. Then you got to take a, a magnesium citrate, I think. So I took that already, and um, yes, it does. It works, if you know what I mean. So um, today's just liquid, Jello, and uh, and then tomorrow at five in the morning I'll be heading over there and. We'll see what happens, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything will work out fine. I mean, I, I do have a lot of, of faith in this doctor. He's really good, great reputation. That's another thing to look for um, on the doctor. Make sure that they, they, 
they are I can't remember what it's called it's like fellowship or something like that this is uh, uh, they, they, they have extensive training on this on this type of procedure it's not just a course on it it's just a lot of training uh, and that's what you want you want somebody who's got a lot of training on this so um, with that being said uh, here are my I'm gonna show you here my before and after pictures well my before, I just took them a few minutes ago, um, and won't be no after, not yet at least. Give me, uh, give me about, uh, give me about, I'd say about a month or so, and, and I'll start posting, see what, uh, what the before ones and the after ones look like. So, I'll just put, I'll just put here our before pictures, um, and and let's begin this uh, this new journey and. I'll be more than happy to be with you guys, and if you have any questions, um, I ask a lot of questions. I'm, I'm very, very curious about everything, so um, I'll be more than happy to help anybody who needs help here and and um, and, and guide you through, you know, what what my mission is going to be, what my challenge is going to be. Um, all I, unfortunately, all I can do right now is just tell you what I've gone through at this point. Uh, hopefully, here in, in the future, I can um, tell you what my process is like. So. And that, guys, uh, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you here soon. Take care.